In this video, we're going to learn about what is this thing called phase and phase difference and phase relationships. Hmm. Now here's some basic maths. If you don't take maths. Here is a sine wave, basically a wave. Now in maths, waves have cycles. The pattern keeps repeating and I can keep drawing them forever. But one complete cycle, the phase, usually we call it 360 degrees. That's one complete cycle. Or in terms of radians, this is what we call 2 pi radians. So half of that would then be 180 degrees or known as pi. And you can keep going. Chop up the middle here. This one is uh, divided by half, right? 90 degrees, also known as pi over 2. Um, this one here, you could also chop it up. This would be 270 degrees, known as 3 pi over 4, which is 3 quarters of the whole wave. Hey, sorry, if whole wave is 2 pi, I just realized. 3 pi over 4 times 2 pi. Okay, so this is what we call full cycle at 360. So think of phase as like the, you know, kind of like the angle uh, angle that keeps repeating in a way. Okay, now with that in mind, go back to this. Phase relationship. Sometimes they'll ask you to compare two waves and we need to find this thing called the phase difference. Huh? Okay, we use the, the symbol phi for phase and the angle, sometimes we use degree, sometimes we use radian, so it really depends lah. Okay, so let's look at the simulation for the phase difference between two waves. Now, wave one is the pink color wave, which is this one here that starts up high. Wave two, you can say it's lagging behind wave one. So if I decrease the lag here uh, using this nice fader, if I make them like right on top of each other, notice the phase difference is zero. Basically, there's no lag. Uh. But if we increase the lag, think of it as lagging. Now this blue wave is lagging behind the pink color one. So how do we how do we find this angle? Mm, do we just somehow know? In a way, yes. If you can see the wave pattern, for example, if I put it like this, ah, yeah, overshoot. Eh. Ah, okay, like this. You notice this interesting pattern when the blue wave is at the maximum here. The pink wave is minimum, like completely, completely opposite. So when you have situations like this, that's called out of phase, 180 degree. Confirm the pattern like this. Look a bit like DNA. Lah. <laughs> and if you have a certain distance that is maybe like a quarter of a cycle lagging behind, this is 90 degree because here is quarter of a cycle. Okay, so is there an equation for this? Because sometimes we can't just see with our eyes, right? Yes, there is. Stay tuned. To find the phase difference, first, let us find what is the lag in terms of whatever this axis is. Now, axis here says distance. Okay, so for wave, okay, let's call this wave B, this blue color one, and the pink color one, let's call this wave A. On wave A, choose a reference point. For example, this highest point, I'm going to choose that. On wave B, that same point happens over here. So it's a bit lagging behind. So now I can choose, ah, or I can say this is some lag going on. But it's not angle. We want angle, right, for phase difference. So this one's going to be in distance. Let's call this X. Okay, yeah, so far. Actually, there's a few answers, lah, okay? There's also, you know, um, the same points over there at the end. So if you want to find another phase difference, technically, you could also do this. Eh, 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 X2. But never mind, that one is uh, some trigonometry stuff. So anyway, let's find the smallest, ang smallest angle difference first. So step one, we are going to do a ratio. Ratio of phase difference. Let's use uh, delta phi. What is the ratio of that tiny lag over the whole cycle? So 2 pi is what we use for the whole cycle. Okay, this will be equivalent to our tiny lag here 
in distance. And what is a full cycle in distance? Okay, this one here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's write this up. This is the phase difference, the lag, a small difference there, and two pi is a full cycle. So this one is first unit is done in angles, uh, angles. The second one here will be done in length. So one full cycle in length is what we call wavelength. Remember wavelength, wavelength. Yay! So one full cycle. Uh, sorry, this is a bad wave. One full cycle. This is wavelength. Okay. So in terms of length, we got this. So ta-da! There you have it. It's a ratio. Now if you have some other axis like time. Time, then you have to do what's the the lag in time. Same same method here. You'll find the peak or find whichever point that repeats. And then divide by one full cycle, also known as period. Ah, so this is a very important ratio that you will be using a lot in this chapter to find the phase difference. Okay. Alright, next. Sometimes, instead of comparing two waves, you actually compare two particles. The same formula applies, but let's look at the motion of the particle first. Okay, here's our friends, particle A and particle B. Let's see how they move. So, according to theory, if their phase difference is zero, means they're like literally together, they should go down together and up together. Very little lag, very small lag, so that's why there's a very small phase difference. Now let's move particle B like maybe one cycle away. So one cycle will be all the way until here. See, I should get 360 for my phase difference because it's one cycle away. Let's hit play. Ding ding! And in that, in phase, 360 is also equivalent to zero, starting a new cycle. So they go up together. And they go down together. I could stare at this all day. Okay, but we got to continue on. What if we have the particles 180 apart? That's half a cycle. Oh, so as you can see the velocity, one is going to go up following this wave and the other one is going to go down. Let's hit play. And you notice these two particles always move in opposite direction. One is lagging behind the other. Okay, so this one is also in terms of distance. Let's look at the equation. Now this year we will do... Um, what we do? Uh, I cannot really see the number here, but it looks like this number here is 0 0.3. I think. 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Yeah, 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 yeah 0 0.3. Eh. And then this other number here is 1.0. So if we apply the same formula, okay, we check this is distance. So we're going to do a ratio of length to angle. This distance here is going to be the delta x. Okay, so we will do delta phi over 2 pi equals to uh, delta x will be 0 0.7 over 1 full wavelength. I guess we could start from here until here and consider that one full wavelength as approximate approximation la. so one full wavelength roughly 0 0.7 hey i just noticed a mistake wait 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 this is 0 0.5 ah yeah this is 0 0.5 okay so putting all the numbers together this looks like gonna be a half a ratio so 0 0.5 over 1 is half a. half of 2 pi which will be Pi, also known as 180 degrees. So they are 180 degrees apart, lagging. Okay, so that is the conclusion for phase difference. Please remember the ratio, whether you are thinking in terms of angle, length, or units of time, the ratio still applies. Whether you're comparing two particles or comparing two waves, same thing. Look for the lag. Think of the lag, the lag, lag. One is lagging behind the other. And that is all for this video. I will see you in the next one.